Water pollution. Ground pollution leads to water pollution because of the inevitable rainfall and gravity. Furthermore, many industrial plants all over the world are located near coastal areas and sources of fresh water. Many have been found to have egregiously dumped harmful waste and chemicals directly into the freshwater sources. Some rivers around the world have had fires on its surface due to flammable water pollution caused by some industries. Even rainwater may be polluted due to pollution of the air. In the city of Los Angeles, California, USA, smog caused by air pollution had been a major problem since the 1940s, causing, often, what is known as acid rain. And, other cities like Lahore, Pakistan, Hoton, China, and Biwadi, India, made the top three on a recent list of most polluted cities that rank thousands of cities around the world. For this list, Chinese cities seem to be especially affected by pollution at this time. There have been many disastrous oil spills in the ocean that have killed countless sea animal and plant species and that have affected human food supplies in the sea for decades. Among the largest are the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill, which dumped 11 million gallons of oil onto the ecologically sensitive Alaskan Prince William Sound. Another was the Deepwater Horizon oil spill of 2010, where 134 million gallons of crude oil were spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. There are many other similarly disastrous oil spills, Commerce Bay Waste Site in Tacoma, Washington, Refugio Beach oil spill in California, Hudson River Waste Site in New York, and the list continues. Each of these disasters have eradicated whole ecosystems and damaged entire regions, not to mention the incalculable loss of animal and plant life. We have partly contributed to these and more ecological disasters because we demand oil and keep buying it even when we have a choice not to. We largely don't care where the gasoline we buy comes from or who sells it. It is clear that our demand for oil will continue to create more incentive for oil companies to continue to pump oil from more sensitive ecosystems, deeper and farther into the sea, closer to our beaches in the desert and in the forests. They will find oil and refine it wherever it is located. And, the areas where they operate will always run the risk of an uncontrolled oil spill or experience human interaction that causes ecosystems to suffer. If we continue our demand for oil, oil extraction and transportation will continue to wreak havoc and expand. And, the industries that use oil will remain using oil and continue to pollute our waters. Like the transportation industry. There, oil leaks out of just about every vehicle on the road, contaminating runoff water and ultimately our fresh water sources and our coastlines. Water pollution also comes from our relentless demand for products. Seemingly, we have been taught to want comfort and convenience over all else. Therefore, we get and buy tons of unnecessary stuff and end up dumping them in massive amounts. Plastics, chemicals, metals, and other materials end up in landfills and on the streets where they cause further pollution to the water. Again, harmful chemicals will filter into the ground and be helped into streams, rivers, and groundwater by the rain. We should want to get off this water-polluting greed for the sake of our health and the health of future generations, and for the sake of the countless plant and animal life that depend on freshwater sources. Noise Pollution not only our bodily health is affected by pollution, but our psychological health as well. Noise pollution is the unceasing noise we hear in all cities. Noise produced by vehicle engines and tires as they zip across the road or when they accelerate abruptly. Sirens from emergency vehicles, construction, air and heating equipment, aircraft, and countless other machines generate obnoxious noise. This noise stresses those that live near it and hear it even during times of rest. Noise exists even inside our homes with windows and doors closed. Air conditioners and fans, and even computers and televisions, generate audible noise that can affect our stress level. If you have experienced a power outage, you can appreciate the difference in noise level as compared when electrical power is on. Likewise, if you have been in the deep woods or barren desert, the lack of human-caused noise can be appreciated. 
constant noise can be ignored, but your brain is still aware of all of the noise around you, and this can cause stress. I believe that your survival instinct makes you alert at hearing noises, especially during times of rest and in the dark. If noise outside of your home has kept you up at night, you have experienced the effects of noise. Living off the grid shuts down noise. When you are efficient, you cannot have an air conditioner on constantly. So, you shut down that noise significantly. When you are efficient, you cannot have devices connected and asleep all day long, so you shut those off and kill their noise too. Off-gridders often opt to live in more natural environments, away from industrial, commercial, and tourist centers, which can help lower noise. And, off-gridders may find ways to cope with noise in their surroundings, through blocking methods, explained in later sections. Light Pollution If you have been partially and temporarily blinded by flashing lights from an emergency vehicle, that is what light pollution feels like. And, if light from the outside of your home filters into your bedroom and keeps you awake at night, that is how light pollution can affect your health. Nighttime lighting permits us to move about relatively safely after dark, but it can also affect our circadian rhythm and affect our stress and quality of rest. Light, especially when combined with noise pollution, can affect our quality of sleep and health. Some light colors and intensity levels may affect our ability to fall asleep, and may shorten our rest time and sleep quality. And, if this happens on a regular basis, our health may deteriorate over long periods and cause more severe ailments. Modern society has overwhelmed us with artificial light generating devices, and ever more bright, colorful, and dazzling LED lighting is being used. Wall-sized television sets and large screen phones and tablets are widely used in homes, vehicles, and even during walks, shopping, and work. I've called this screen hopping. We jump from our phone screen to TV to our home desktops or laptops, then to our work computer screen. Then when in bed, Many of us watch more TV and get on social media on our phones, and even read books on backlit screens of tablets and reader devices like Kindles. It is as if we don't give our eyes a break. Also, artificial light has blocked our view of the starry skies. As exterior lighting in our cities gets reflected upward, lights from the sky, stars, and planets are largely blocked from entering our eyes. The breathtaking view of a full starry sky is a relaxing and inspiring experience denied to most that live near cities due to light pollution. I recall seeing a full starred sky only in my childhood, during power outages that affected large parts of my home city in the Caribbean in the mid-1980s. Off-gridders may opt for a more efficient use of light. Perhaps many will recognize the eye and health problems brought about by light pollution, and opt to go with a drastically reduced lighted lifestyle. Perhaps many can choose candle light, low lighting, or no artificial lighting during dark hours. I have experimented with this concept, and have recovered significant health, psychological and spiritual benefits. We have evolved to live without artificial light for millions of years, and it is no coincidence that we are being harmed by it in the recent decades of its increased use. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Please look for the next episode soon. And please ensure that you share this with your friends and family. And please like this content and subscribe as a sign of support. And for me to continue to provide this type of content to more people like you. By Hector Vladimir, June 2023.